Revenge Films. I had to go eat dinner at my in-laws every month. I hated it there. Why? Because my husband's mom always did mean things to me. For instance, she always serves me cold rice on purpose. Needless to say, everyone else got a nice bowl of warm rice. I mean, why go through all that just to be mean to me? I guess she really hated me. I told my husband once, but... You're being paranoid. He said, and she never put meat in any of my food. I didn't like meat, so I didn't care, but... Whenever she served shrimp, she left the shell on. And she always gave me the part with the most bones when she cooked fish. How is it, Ali? Good? She always asked with a big smile on her face. She always put eggshells in my eggs, too. It was unbearable. I tried talking to my husband again. Can you do something about her? Please, she's always messing with my food. You're still saying that? That's enough! She spends all day preparing food for us. All you ever do is complain. But he was always on his mom's side. It was no use. I tried talking to him a few times, but it wasn't helping at all. I hated going there, but I had no choice. I was really stressed out. Mom says to come over next week for dinner. It was once a month, but still. I couldn't take it anymore. Hey, could you go without me next week? What? Why? She said she's gonna cook for us. What's your problem? Your mother! I just wanted to scream in his face, but I kept it to myself. I told you before, I don't like it there. I'm sure your mother wouldn't mind. Just shut up and come. We're going. I was getting pretty sick of my husband, too. Thinking about his mom and the food she served made me sick to my stomach. But I had nowhere to run. I was starting to feel ill, so I went to see a doctor. Then a week later, it was dinner night. I had no choice. When we arrived, she was cooking. I made us some pork cutlet today, but I ran out of pork. One of us will have to make do with artificial meat. Sorry. That's it. I couldn't hold it in anymore. I'm guessing it's me you're talking about. I bet it is. You know what? If it isn't, I'll buy you that necklace you always wanted. And if my husband gets the artificial meat, I'll do anything you say. Then I ate the cutlet in front of me. My husband and his dad had no idea what just happened. See? I was right! Artificial meat! Yay! It was a coincidence! I told you! Oh, is that so? I guess I'm just really lucky when it comes to your cooking then. Oh, I know! I'll buy some lottery tickets on my way home! I'm feeling lucky tonight. I tried to stay calm, but the rage built inside of me. My husband looked terrified. The food you cook for me is so amazing. The rice is always so cold and hard. And when you serve fish, you always give me the part with the most bones. You leave the eggshells in just for me too, right? Oh, and let's not forget about the shrimp shells. Oh, I'm such a lucky girl. My mother-in-law started shaking. Her husband looked appalled. I never said anything because I didn't want to make a scene, but not anymore. It's not good to bottle up anger like this, especially when you're pregnant. They all look surprised. When I went to the hospital the other day, I found out I was pregnant. I was going to be a mother. I had to be strong. My mother told me to stand up for myself, so I decided to take a stand. You're pregnant? Yay! She looked happy. It was her first grandchild. But then I laughed at her. Yep. But it's my job to protect my kids, so you'll never see them. I'm never coming here again. I'm going to go now. Goodbye forever. Then her husband yelled at her. Is this true? What the hell's wrong with you? As I walked out of the house and tried to get in my car, my husband chased after me. Why didn't you tell me you were pregnant? 
<laughs> Seriously? Why should I? You never listen to me anyways. Like that thing with your mom. I told you many times to help me, but you never did. I'm sorry, but you're no different than her. I don't want you to be anywhere around my kids. Wait, where are you going? I'm going to live with my parents. I told them about everything. They said to cut all ties with you and your family, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. What? No, wait! I ignored him and drove off. He fell on his knees. I was going home to have my babies anyway, so I already sent all my stuff. And my mom knew all about the mean things my mother-in-law did to me, so she was more than happy to have me there. The next day, my husband came over to my parents' house. He got onto his knees and started apologizing. I'm terribly sorry for everything. It'll never happen again. Please, forgive me. He begged us to forgive him. It couldn't have been easy for him to come here like that and apologize. I decided to give him one last chance under a few conditions. One, I never wanted to go to his parents' house again. Two, his parents don't get to see our child until I say it's okay. I got it all in writing too. And if his mom ever shows up unannounced, I was getting a divorce. And that meant my husband would never be able to see his child again. I told my husband to go talk to his parents by himself. They were so excited about their first grandchild, but when they found out about the deal, they were really upset. Why could I see my grandchildren? His mom flipped out, but after everything that happened, my husband was now on my side. It's your own fault, Mom. She was all alone. This is all your fault, idiot. I can't see my grandchild because of what you did. Go talk to her and beg her to forgive you. I heard he stopped talking to her altogether. Good riddance. And even if she comes to apologize, I'm not letting her near my child. After that, there were no more dinner parties at his parents. Oh, and my husband started listening to me for a change. I guess he learned his lesson when I went back to live with my parents. The baby was due in a few months. <sighs> Not sure how long it'll take for me to forgive them, but we'll see. I'm just glad everything worked out. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.